What's up everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear or lose your gear because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today I just wanted to come on here a little bit earlier and do a quick video over uh, a knife that I've had for a while, a quick review go over. Um, I think I've done one on this one before, it's quite a while ago, but I figured I'll do it again since it's been so long. But before I do that, I wanted to mention that this is a brawn and ginger hank brawn and ginger is no longer uh open so unfortunately um you can't get any more but he is going to be doing some limited release stuff on his facebook group which is edc connoisseurs so if you want to go to that group check it out you know join up and then you'll be in the uh group and you'll be able to see if uh one of those giveaways pops up i have been always i put a hank out usually and i've been forgetting to say who the hanks are uh, made by usually they they're labeled so that's pretty good i don't have to but i just wanted to uh let everybody know about this uh brown and ginger giveaway and uh about the hanks and everything so that's that now i still have a 200 giveaway going on so everybody needs to go check that out um i'm at like 180 right now so 20 more people and i'll be giving away that uh highland cattleman by rough rider and uh I'll probably give it a couple days. Last time I just uh, like hit 200 and I was like, boom, I was on the giveaway. I'll probably wait till I hit 200, wait till the next day. That way people can, you know, be aware of whatever. And uh, then I'll do it. So everybody go there, sign up. There's a video on uh, my channel. It's down a bit, so you're going to have to look for it. But um, that is there. So check that out and sign up for that. So the knife that I wanted to do today is the Becker BK. 40 becker k-bar it's a collaboration so this after my rant yesterday right I was like well let me try to do a knife that people think is a bushcraft knife right so this is a outdoorsy type knife this is a knife that uh uh becker and k-bar decided to put out to compete with the uh, ontario rat one so basically this is their answer to the rat one and you know what this is a pretty decent uh blade let's get a measurement on this and let's try to get the right measurements on this we're looking at about eight, eight and a half, and uh, trying to weigh it up. So it's about eight and a half inches long. It's kind of weighty. Um, so and we got about 5.4. Uh, so 5.4 on the weight, five ounces. So yeah, so it's a little bit heavy, but it's not bad. I mean, it has got a four-way position clip here, so you can go tip up, tip down, just like the Rat. I mean, seriously, it's made out of the same materials. It's made out of AU8, uh, AUS8A. Uh, it's got like this uh, polymer handle. I'm not sure if it's FRN or whatever. It is a liner lock. It is a four-way pos position pocket clip. It does have a lanyard hole. There is a spacer. These are contoured scales, so that's pretty cool. Um, has some jimping right there. And it says, it's the funny thing about this, it says BK K-Bar, Olean, New York, USA, right in the back. China. It says it. China. You can see that. So, <laughs> whatever. But it's a pretty decent knife. It's a large knife. Good size if you, you know, takes up, fits in your hand really good. So, pretty nice with the um, jimping there. It's got that thumb stud opening. Um, it doesn't really close all that well, but whatever. I mean, I had some issues with this knife when I got it. I had to mess with it and try to center it and try to oil it and take it apart, put it back together. This wouldn't come out, the pivot screw was a pain in the ass. So, but whatever, it's a pretty decent knife. Um, it's pretty solid for sure. Uh, and it's larger, it's got some swedging up here. Um, and uh, overall, I like it. I think it's pretty decent. So, <clears throat> like I said, that's the Becker K-Bar answer to the Ontario Rat 1 to get into that market. Uh, general purpose utility knife. Um, I've used it for like food prep, stuff like that. I went glamping, I took it with me, and I carried that knife the whole time that I was glamping, and uh, it performed well on the things that I needed to use it for. I mean, I didn't try to chop down a tree with it or nothing, but um, I did use it for what knives are intended to be used for, and I uh, cut things with it, and it worked out well. So if you get a chance, check out the Becker BK40. I got it on Knife Center. It was about $43. Um, they have D2 now and different handle colors, so they have an exclusive. I think the D2 in green uh, handle material is a Knife Center exclusive, so check them out. I'm not sure how much that one is, but pretty solid knife. The Becker BK40 K-Bar collaboration, so that's that. Then... I want to just go over this. Got some green going on with the, the Hank. And uh, so this is the Arc Boulder ripoff uh, front pocket carry minimalist EDC wallet. And um, I wanted to get this out. I'm not trying to 
you know, it's not actually a, a what do you call it, um, a clone because it doesn't say that it is an arc boulder. It doesn't even attempt to be that. It's uh, made by a company called uh, Civiate or something like that. I linked it to the last video that I did. So it's made out of 16 ounce canvas and um, it's all right, actually. <laughs> I mean, the arc boulder one is $46 plus shipping and tax, so it'll be over 50, and I can't see paying over $50 for something that is made out of what it's made out of. Um, theirs is made out of um, Kodura, but for what it is, really, it's just a piece of Kodura with a couple pockets in it. I don't, I, I don't see it being worth 50 bucks or over for that matter. I mean, if they were selling it for like 25, that'd be different, but I, I don't know, I, I don't see myself getting, it, getting that just because of what it is and how much they're charging. Um, but this is actually okay, I mean, it's got, you know, you open it up, it's got these two snaps right here. So you can get something in the pockets. Um, the intended purpose of this thing is to be a wallet and a little EDC uh, pouch. So I have this, um, the stuff that I have in here is actually, I got quite a bit of stuff. So I have the right in the rain, and everybody knows how I feel about those guys, right? Right in the rain, and then I got this little uh, Kirkerland, Kickerland pen that I can't get out, right? These things are serious on the retention clips like it's unbelievable i can't ever get these things out of here i don't even know how i got it in there so there's that kicker land pen a little green going on with that i got the uh boker urban trapper petite and then i put uh my nightcore tube v2 in there put some bad little uh you know band-aids in there i got a challenge coin in there and a 20 dollars bill in there so that's actually quite a bit of stuff to get in this little thing, which isn't, I mean, it's pretty decent actually. And I actually put this in here, this little right in the rain, and I put like four cards behind it. So you can get other things in it. I mean, if I was gonna carry this as a wallet, I'm not, I'm carrying the real brazen wallet. But if I was to carry this as a wallet, I would just put my license and my debit card in there and I'd be good behind the right in the rain. And you can't even see it. So, I mean, it is pretty useful and you can get quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, it's just that, look at it you know what i mean basically this is open it is five and a half inches and it is uh about four just under four and a half and then closed it's just under three and it is about four and a half so yeah that's um what that is so for me it's just like i don't know i don't think it's worth 50 55 dollars for that you know what i mean it's just it's just a piece of fabric basically with some snaps on it and some pockets and this one i paid 888 for just to test it out to see if i'd like it and i do like it but again i'm not going to pay 50 something dollars for it so that is the Civiate pocket minimalist front pocket minimalist edc pouch um I linked it in the last video I did that is a fixed by Friday and says rant. So I'm carrying that today, uh, carrying the uh, Duke Cannon tactical lip balm. So more of the green going on. Um, got this police magnum pepper spray. Got um, my earbuds, which are Skull Candy Dime. Um, I got this uh, Teal Design Slim Jim. You know, the funny thing about the Slim Jim is I forgot that I even had that because I haven't used it. I have to go get my puppy today because we're picking up a new puppy at the uh, the shelter. Uh, it's one of the beagles that was, uh, you know, four, they had 4,000 beagles down south that they were experimenting on medically for, like, uh, makeup purposes or some weird shit. And they tattooed their ears, and they sent a lot of them to the northeast. So we got one, and we're going to get her today because we already have two beagles. So we're going to end up having three. So... After that, I have to go to a barbecue that my cousin has called Brewfest. So you can imagine what goes on in that party, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to that. So I was gonna carry a scout knife today because scout knives have, you know, uh, they come, they have uh, cap lifters on them because that's usually what I do. And then I forgot I even had this because I don't use it. So my wife goes, uh, why are you gonna carry a scout knife? Don't, what happened to your fancy uh, Teal Designs pry bar with the cap lifter on it? And I was like, oh shit, that's right, I forgot. It had a cap lifter on it, so I might actually get to use this today, uh, lifting some caps later. So I got that on me. Um, also, I'm carrying the Gerber Freeman as my backup uh, blade to that one. And then again, I got the Robrazum uh, pocket wallet, uh, front pocket minimalist, and then I got my badge wallet. So I got all this stuff. So. That is all the stuff that I have today, and this is a knife that you guys need to check out. The 
BK K bar, BK 40. Uh, answer to the Ontario right it's it's pretty solid I mean I actually like the drop point blade shape on this one better than I like the blade shape on the rat one but I like the rat one overall better um, I just like the thumb ramp on the rat one better even though this has some jimping and it's pretty solid um, but I just like you know I kind of pretty much like that one overall better the rat one but they're basically the same knife same materials same size you know same pocket clip setup um, so you know, you can get this or get a rat one, but this one's pretty solid. So check it out. It's the BK K-Bar BK40. Hey, you guys have a good weekend.